fucking told you. I told you the PS4 was a piece of shit. I fucking told you. Get an Xbox One. Fuck that shit. Wait. 0.4%. What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media. And guess what? The PlayStation 4 is a brick. No, it's fucking not. Now, I know what you might think. This is some fanboy shit. You would be incorrect. I told you I pride myself on calling out bullshit when I see it. And this applies to this fucking case. You need to understand something about the whole entire PlayStation 4. Its fucking failure rate is 0.4%. Now, if I had to equate that in terms of like a human being, that's about a, a clipped toenail. That's how small this fucking failure percentage rate is. Now, they do have a slight issue, uh, some of them have a slight issue with the actual uh, HDMI port and a tiny piece of metal that's popping up inside of it. Now, this is a legitimate concern if, you know, you're trying to plug in your HDMI port and it won't fucking go in. Uh, apparently, uh, Kotaku reported uh, the week that of the system it, re it received or refused to uh, output video. More specifically, uh, it would seem as though something was wrong with the HDMI port on the system, which wouldn't allow for the HDMI cables to be fully plugged in. Uh, it was a problem that experienced, you know, by a IGN Reddit user, and uh, apparently it turns out that a piece of metal on the HDMI port that should have been flush with the bottom of the port was sticking up. Uh, this prevented the HDMI cord from being plugged in all the way and damaged uh, you know, each of the cords in an identical fashion. Uh, that had been plugged in. So the solution was simply uh, was simply enough to press the piece of metal down so that it is no longer in the way. With that done, the system will now work as it should. That is not a big fucking deal. You just push the little tiny piece of metal down. If you have that issue, then the problem is resolved. Now, granted, you shouldn't have to fucking do this, but when you're mass producing millions of fucking consoles, there's bound to be a few of them where something isn't exactly perfect. Now, I know the fanboys of the world are are like. It's time to calm the fuck down. One, the Xbox One is actually coming out next fucking week. You might want to calm your fanboyism down, sheath your fucking fanboy swords, and wait to see what the failure rate of their uh, actual system is. Uh, if you look at uh, you know some uh, articles about like Dual Shockers, uh, I'll read a little bit from them. Uh, there have been many reports surfing, seeing about the PlayStation 4 units are receiving earlier uh, suffering from hardware problems. As a matter of fact, several sites have been scrambling to report about every brick unit that they can fucking find. As a term of comparison, in 2008, the Xbox 360 was reported to have a 16% failure ratio, while the PlayStation 3 and the Wii had a 3% failure ratio. According to Consumer Reports data, the average failure ratio of Consumer Electronics sits at around 15%. This is one of the lowest, the lowest failure ratios in the history of electronics, in the history of gaming consoles, 0.4%, 0 0.4%. Uh, Sony actually released a statement, uh, and they came out and said, uh, be assured that we're investigating reported PlayStation 4 issues. The number is very small. Uh, compared to, you know, Shift, we believe that they are isolated incidents. And they also went on to say a handful of people have reported issues with their PlayStation 4 systems. Uh, this is within our expectations for a new product introduction. And the vast majority of PlayStation 4 feedback has been overwhelmingly positive. We are very closely monitoring uh, additional reports, but we think that this is an isolated incident and on track for a great launch. There have been several problems reported, which have led us to believe that it isn't a singular problem that can impact the broader percentage of systems. Uh, the number of affected systems represent is uh, less than uh, zero uh, four percent uh, of ship units today, which is within our expectations for a new product uh, introduction. That is low as fuck. So calm the fuck down. If you look at the actual past and history of consumer electronics, their ratio is so fucking low. It's stupid. Now, we have yet to see what's going to happen with the Xbox One and their whole entire issues. I, I was a little pissed off when I actually downloaded the day one patch, uh, that day one update onto my USB stick, and everyone's just going to say that it's fucking corrupted. So just go onto the PlayStation Network and download it. It was actually pretty quick, and I thought it was going to take like hours. It actually just took like literally five minutes. I was very impressed with that. And no, this is not fucking fanboy shit. But before you go off and freak out and for the fanboys of the world, go off cheering down the fucking streets, you need to understand the facts. It is a low-ass fucking failure rate. It is ridiculously low. 
Now, I'm not excusing it because people who bought their system and plug it in, they should be able to plug in their HDMI port immediately. But to say that it's a brick console, that it's a complete, utter failure, and to get all these uh, couple of negative reviews that, you know, Sony's looking at going, this is a bit ridiculous, and we're very disappointed they feel this way, but we don't think it's going to affect anything. I don't see how this is a gigantic fucking problem. I'm sorry if I can't go off on them and say, how dare you have a 0.4% fucking failure rate? What the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to say about that? That's low as fuck. So everyone calm down, relax, let them fix their fucking issues. We all know tiny issues are going to fucking happen, but this is ridiculously fucking low. It is fucking low. I can't, I can't. What the fuck am I supposed to do about that? I have not even played my PlayStation 4 yet, because when I saw this, I went, okay, let me investigate before people start freaking out about it, okay? So thanks, y'all, for, you know, for, like, you know, letting me know what was going on, because I fucking plopped out sleep, because I couldn't even fucking play the console, because I was awake for, like, 28 fucking hours. Again, uh, like, subscribe, uh, I'll be bringing out some more information as, like, failure shit comes up. I'm also going to be getting my Xbox One next week, so, you know, tune in for that stuff. Uh, send me a PlayStation Network, a friend request at Stonefox. Uh, you can also, you know, subscribe to my Twitch one at Stonefox Media, and then my Twitter and my Facebook account. Uh, that's all I got for y'all right now. I'm going to attempt to go and try and play this console and try to see if I can get this damn thing on Twitch. Uh, that's all the news I got for y'all right now. I will holler at y'all later.